I'm gonna tell you how often you should upload to YouTube and I'm gonna tell you when or what time you should upload to YouTube and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so I get this question a lot. I wanna to talk to you about how often you should upload and I wanna to talk to you about the best time to upload your videos to YouTube. So before we get into that, into the details of it, there's some things that I would like you to consider. One, do you currently have the ability and you can get this information inside of your audience retention reports, but do you currently have the ability to keep people watching your videos for an extended amount of time? The reason that this is important is because if you cannot keep people watching your videos, you can upload five times a day and it is not going to help you. So it's extremely important that you make sure that before you start uploading all of the time, before you start uploading daily content or even multiple times per week, it's important to make sure that you have the ability to keep people watching. You go into your YouTube analytics and you go into your audience retention reports, then that that is going to tell you everything that you need to know. If your percentages are extremely low and the actual watch time that you're accumulating is extremely low, that means that currently at this point in time, you don't have the ability to keep people watching. So what you need to do is you need to spend all of your time studying your videos, studying your analytics and learning the process of how do I make people keep watching my videos for an extended period of time. A few things that you wanna keep an eye out for is you wanna keep for mass drop-off points. So basically if you're in your audience retention reports and you see places where people are dropping dropping off in mass, that means there's something that's happening there. Maybe you have music too loud. Maybe you have music that's not loud enough when you went into a B-roll sequence. Maybe you're talking too much. Maybe you're not talking enough. But what you're gonna notice over the course of a bunch of different videos is you're gonna notice patterns that keep popping up. Then, of course, you wanna take those patterns and you wanna say, okay, well, if this keeps happening in all of my videos, every time I drop my intro in my video, then I get a massive drop in audience retention. Then what that tells you is that, okay, maybe I need to change my intro. Maybe I need to remove my intro completely. Maybe every time you say a particular phrase, phrase or a particular thing that you always go into in terms of, let's say that you trail off on ideas, if that's making you lose viewers. That means it's time to change it before you start uploading a lot of videos. Because again, if you're putting up tons of videos and they're not working on your behalf in terms of keeping people watching, then the platform is not going to promote you, which means that you're putting in all that effort for nothing. Number two, do you currently have the ability to generate clicks from your titles and your thumbnails? If the answer to that is yes, then you're okay to move on to the next section of this video. If the answer is no, then you need to spend some time learning how to generate those clicks. Because again, if people aren't clicking on your thumbnails, they're not clicking on your titles, then what's going to happen is every time your videos start getting served around the platform, YouTube is quickly going to demote those videos because people are not responding to them. And if people are responding to them because you know how to generate those clicks, then YouTube is more likely to promote your video on the platform, which means that it makes more sense to start making more content for people to see because you have all of these things in place that are going to to work well within the YouTube platform. And because of that, your efforts are not gonna go wasted. Okay, now let's say that you can keep people watching and you can also generate clicks on thumbnails. What next? Well, if you can keep people watching and you can keep people generating thumbnails, the next thing that you need to consider in terms of how much should you upload is what you're actually trying to accomplish on your channel and with every video that you upload. What I mean by that is this, if you are a hobbyist and you are putting out content and you're saying, hey, you know, it's cool if people watch it, but if not, you I don't really care. I just kind of want to keep this as an archive. And you know, if some people come and they watch and they subscribe, everything grows slow. That's not really that big of a deal. Totally cool if it's not impeding on your real life. But when you're thinking about what it is that you're trying to accomplish, because in a lot of cases, if you're going to start uploading a lot to YouTube, there's going to be sacrifices that have to be made in terms of, you know, you want to go do this, but you got to make sure that you hit the upload schedule and that you keep everything consistent. And because of that, YouTube can start to impede on your life if it's not something that you're trying to do seriously. So if you're goal is just to put some videos up there and things like that, then maybe in that case, it's probably best to just upload once a week, twice a week or something like that, where you can just kind of chug along. You grow slowly, but it's not taking away too much from your real life in the real world where your family and friends and all that stuff are. <laughs> However, if you are wanting to do YouTube seriously, you're wanting to generate income from YouTube, or you're wanting to build an audience of some kind or become an influencer and, you're, and you know how to keep people watching, you know how to generate clicks. In that case, upload as much as possible. But what you wanna do is you wanna keep in mind that you know there are probably gonna be other assets that you wanna create around your channel. I actually just recently made a video about that. I'll put a link to it at the top of the channel, but there are most likely other assets that you're going to be creating around your channel that are also going to require time as everything swells up. So because of that, 
that and make sure that at the very least you leave time so that you can manage those other things as well. If that is you, think of it this way. Every single video that you upload is a potential opportunity for you in terms of helping you get one step closer to achieving your goal. So every single video that you have time to upload means that with every single upload, you're getting closer and closer and closer to what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And because of that, as long as you can keep the quality good enough and as long as you can keep your mind together and as long as you can keep a nice balance together, then uploading as much as possible can really bring you the most benefit as long as you can keep people watching and you can keep people clicking on your thumbnails. The idea is to keep everything at an acceptable level. So you wanna give as much as you can to your viewers, but at the same time, you also wanna make sure that you know what's going on in your brain and what's going on in your life is not being uh, messed with because of how much you're requiring yourself to upload to YouTube. And here's the thing, burnout is real. It's a legitimate thing. And if you are doing this, because YouTube is a long-term thing, right? So if you're doing this on a regular basis and you're always putting out content all of the time and you don't have that balance in place, then it's really easy to get burned out. So make sure that you keep that balance in mind when you're thinking of how much to upload. Now, let's talk about the best time to upload. What you wanna do is you wanna go into your analytics inside of your creator studio. Once you're inside of your analytics, you wanna go to your real-time reports. In your real-time reports, you're going to see the 48-hour reports and then you're gonna see highs and you're gonna see lows. What you wanna do when it comes to the actual time to upload is you wanna say, okay, my highs are here and my lows are here. What I wanna do is when you see the ramps going up, you wanna upload right before that ramp starts going up. And you wanna chart this stuff over the course of a week, maybe even a couple of weeks to make sure that it's consistent with your upload schedule and all of that. And then you wanna say, okay, well, I'm gonna upload all of my content right before that ramp starts so that I can ride the wave. So in that case, think of yourself like a surfer, but you're surfing viewers and audience instead of, you know, trying to catch that next big swell. If you have comments about any of the stuff that I just talked about, make sure you let me know in the comments below and I will answer them when I see them. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.